coming replayers. Jean, you're there. Jean, don't worry. I will read the chat for you. Get yourself a nice coffee, relax, put your feet up. I do hope, Jean, that you are healing really well. Makes us appreciate our eyesight, doesn't it, when we can't use it like we like we do we usually do Jean heal well and I will read the chat for you I do that for quite a few people too oh there's Di hi hi Da. I was just explaining to Jean I'll read the chat for her Da's coming in good morning oh I know Jean right that's the last time you stare at the screen now use me like um a, a podcast Jean <laughs> oh there's Kimberly oh Kimberly you haven't been there's Freddie you haven't been whisked away today, Kimberly. So nice to have you with us when you can when you can make it. And there's Candy. Good morning, Candy. Oh, oh no, I'm missing. Yes, Candy. Yes, you are there. Yes, it's afternoon. <laughs> Good morning, Candy dear. We had a relaxing time yesterday, didn't we? Listening to people's people's videos. Oh, and there's Mrs. Gigi. Hi, good afternoon, Mrs. Gigi. Nice to see you. And there's Nashua. We have America, Sweden, <laughs> England, Egypt. Did you have a lovely day yesterday, Nashua? It was Mother's Day in Egypt. We had Mother's Day a couple of months ago. Oh, hooray! Caroline's here. Carol, Carol Young in the chat. Oh, you're here. So nice to see you. Oh, Caroline's got a new uh, determination. So going to do the index card a day. She's challenging herself. It may turn out that it's an index card a week or just no pressure, but you want to try to start doing some, um, some art again, Carol. Yes, you take it really slow and take care of yourself. Yes, yes. Oh, there's lovely Cheryl. Good morning. I'm ready. Say, oh, hello, darling. You did look, you looked as if you were nearly dropping me off then. It's Cheryl's here, dear. Say hi to Cheryl. <laughs> oh, there's Peggy. Hi, Peggy. Peggy, I imagine Peggy is putting all the St. Patrick's Day memorabilia <laughs> oh you have a busy day and before you leave you'll catch the replay oh bye peggy you've got you're going out i would imagine that you've been busy packing away the saint patrick's day stuff and now you're getting ready to share easter and spring with us especially on your instagram account mm. Easter post start tomorrow. Oh, you heard it here. We'll pop um we'll pop a link in the chat later, or I'll pop it underneath. Yes. Easter and spring start at Peggy's house tomorrow. Oh, you busy little bee, Peggy. <laughs> There's Carol. Oh, Carol, how are you? Have you healed a lot since last week? And Christy, good morning. Oh, Christy, I am your fairy godmother. I have some, I have some fairy dust just here <laughs> that Florence is looking after. Good morning. Oh, so nice to see you. Oh, and you'll be in the background, Christy, as you get the family ready. Oh, it's lovely. And I wonder whether you'll get time to be in your lovely studio later. Oh, Carol, how how are you? 
if I miss you saying how you are, tap it in again. Talk to me in capitals. Thank you, Mrs. Gigi. This Peggy's link. Spring and Easter delights start tomorrow on Peggy's lovely channel, on um, our Instagram account. Gail, good morning, good morning, Gail. Come on in. Let's have coffee together. Let's start the week. Monday. Oh, our lovely Cheryl is relaxing in bed. That's really good. Start the week off nice and relaxed. Oh, I like that. Oh, Carol, you're that who we're in cauldron, Carol. You're feeling a lot better today, maybe getting your strength back, coming in and chatting to us. Oh, sending you love. Hmm. So, what have I been up to this week? More slow stitching. <laughs> oh, there's Renee. Oh, Renee. How was your night? Oh, Renee is convalescing too, aren't you? Oh, yes. There's Carol. And the, uh, Carol Young. Mo's mummy. We've got two Carols in the house. <laughs> and you're feeling a little better, Janet. You're just waiting for a delivery of your Rolodex cards. Oh, they haven't arrived yet, have Carol. Well, later on, Carol, um, Carol, Mo's mummy, we're going to do a prompt game. So you may want to use some of those prompts. No pressure, though. Now, Renee said you finally stayed in bed all night last night. Oh, well, that's good. To get rest is so important, isn't it? Definitely. Definitely. Good morning. Ah, oh, there's our Barbara coming in. We've got Mo. We've got Mo and Mo's mummy, Carol Young, and then we've got our lovely Whispering Cauldron, Carol, in too. One Carol is not enough in the chat. <laughs> One Janet's not enough either. I'm wondering whether our lovely Janet USA is busy getting the family ready. <laughs> hmm. Yes, Candy's here, Barbara. Oh, and I'll be reading the chat out. For the people that are resting in the background, Jean, our lovely Jean, Jean B, is in the background recovering from her eye surgery. So, um, and to anybody else that's resting quietly in the background, I shall read out chat for you. You don't even have to watch. <laughs> and just let this all wash over you. And maybe fall back to sleep <laughs> if that's what you need. Oh, wow. Gosh, that's amazing. Renee has turned, turned the pain corner and you can sleep without pain meds. Yes, I agree. Terrific. Yes, yes. Terrific, says Candy. So, our lovely Aunt Bex did painting on fabric. So I thought I'd have a go. Hi, it's Alison. Hi, Ali. You'll be popping in and out. You're baking. Hi, everyone. I'll be watching on replay what you miss. Oh, Ali, what are you baking? How lovely. I was baking yesterday and Cheryl was baking. Cheryl's put a lovely recipe up. Mm, a beautiful sweet recipe made with condensed milk. Mm, beautiful recipe. Oh, um, our Barbara says she's snooping around the house. Tell us about that colourful pillow where you um where you know who is the colourful. Oh, Barbara dear, have you not seen that one before? Let me get that out for you and show. Chocolate cake and steak pie. 
Ali, have you got visitors? Or are you doing a bulk cook and um, slicing it up so you've got some every day? Mmm, chocolate cake. How nice. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Let me show you. Oh, shall I? I'll tell you what, Barbara. I will tell you about that lovely pillow. Oh, it doesn't look disturbing. Let's have a look. Just get it out a little bit so folks can see. <laughs> That's my lockdown 20 and turned out to be 2021 too, where we stayed at home to keep our NHS safe. And I crocheted a rainbow that went in the window for a while. And then I made it into a pillow, <laughs> a pillow for the prince. <laughs> he seems to get it. Aww. Oh, your boy's liking. Pierre is enjoying the cake. And you put banana in it, didn't you, as well, Cheryl? Mmm, sounds yummy. <laughs> it's absolutely yummy. So, I painted some fabric, used fabric medium. Like Bex did, um, Aunt Bex did. So I just had to order this. It wasn't expensive. And it means you can use your ordinary acrylic paints. It softens it. So it's not, if you put, put it on without that, it would be, it would be all hard. And you wouldn't be able to get the needle through. It's on, um, in Beth's group, I do believe. Is it, Cheryl, in Beth's group? We can get you that recipe, though, Tammy. <laughs> it's got five ingredients, so nice and easy. So, yeah, I just then simply cut out some leaf shapes from my, from my pile of fabric, hand-painted fabric. I've got various colours in here. Ah, oh, hi Tina and hi Tammy. Nice to see you. Come on in. Welcome to Monday. Let's start the week off as we mean to go on. Relaxing, being together, community. <laughs> and doing a little bit of art and crafts, maybe. <laughs> You posted in your Facebook, but you'll post in Beth's group. Oh, thank you. That's your recipe. Super. So, let me actually, before I show you that, let me just show you this fabric tag I made in the week. So, Teresa sent me a Pinterest picture, and it was a very simple pot with a few buttons. So, I made tag in the same style as that my lovely word i'm liking at the moment joy <laughs> oh tina don't worry i'm not taking the register <laughs> you won't get you won't get um a detention <laughs> oh lovely we're not going to send you to the bottom of the class <laughs> coming never late ah oh, kimberly thank you it's very simple on tea dyed fabric very simple simple design so i then i developed the idea with my hand painted fabric and i made if if you can see it there you can see i with my a brown hand painted fabric i've made a little flower pot and underneath first of all i placed various sizes of leaves and sewed them on first with the leaves and i dropped a leaf to the ground as well Good morning, Rhonda. Nice to see you. Hi, Rhonda. You come on in. And how are you, Rhonda? You always ask me how I am so kindly. 
Oh, thank you. And one of the things I've been meaning to do, I love buttons. I'm sure a lot of you do. And I've been wanting to experiment with sewing them on in different ways. And then I did some slow stitching and some French knots and put some beads. It's not finished yet because I'm going to add some more. So I started off with the larger ones in the middle and then I'm working my way out with the little ones. If you can see a tiny little vintage button there on the edge. <laughs> Thank you, Ali. Ah, oh. <laughs> hi, Peter. Nice to see you. We we were now. Whose stream were we in yesterday? We we're in Teresa's. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Peter. You are from Australia. I might be wrong. I might have the wrong Peter. Ah, <laughs> oh, so I'm going to continue to work on this this morning. We we'll do some slow stitching. Just, I know if you're in America, you are. Oh, thank you, Barbara. <laughs> That's so kind of you. Thank you, Gail. Thank you so much. I put a frame around it too. I'm getting to the stage because I I say I send some off. And but I, I keep samples. I'm getting to the stage where I need to make myself a fabric book. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, Peter. There we are. You are in Australia, so yes, welcome. You're up quite late, aren't you, Peter? It's probably 12 or one o'clock for you in the morning, so stay with us for a while while you just relax down before hopefully getting a good night's sleep. Ah, oh, unless you're on night duty. <laughs> of course, I put a heart on it. My signature word is joy this year. And... <laughs> oh. And my signature piece to create is a heart. Every little piece I create is going to have a heart on. Cupita, that's my... Stay at home safe and our rainbow in, in Britain anyway, this year has been a symbol of hope. And our way of saying thank you up in our windows, it's our way of saying thank you to all our key workers. Last year, most of the windows had a rainbow in. That's not so much this year. Not so much this year. Of course, I have a rainbow window. It's 12.16 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Oh, yes, of course. You're usually in Britain about 24 hours. We're 24 hours time difference, aren't we, Peter? Oh, Laurie, good morning. Come on in, come on in. Well, you, you rest with us for a while, Peter, and then let yourself maybe drift off to sleep. That's what I do, especially when the streams are late, like our lovely Beth. I keep the streams on. Sometimes I get round to saying goodnight. Other, other times I just drift off to sleep. <laughs> Oh, dear. So, yes, it's just a case of sewing buttons on. And I didn't, when I did this, I had no plan. I just, just doing a little bit of slow stitching on it. I'm like a chain stitch. Nothing fancy, just, yeah. Now, talking about stitching, who has seen Roy's latest video? Oh, Peter, oh, yes, who were we, who's live were we on? I can't remember, Peter. Yes, I remember, to, oh, I think it was, it was our dear Teresa, I think. I might be wrong. 
oh, and while I've got that cotton there, maybe I will do a French knot. So talking about French knots. Oh. Oh, yes, when Mary's on at night, yes, yes. I don't get to see Mary on a Sunday because it comes on far too late for me, but it was there in the morning and I watched some of our dear Mary when I was having my morning cup of tea, just waking up. <laughs> oh, so do a little French knot. While that cotton's still there, it just adds a little bit of texture. And then I'll just not really neat, not like that tablecloth my mother did. It depends what stitches you. I've done a blanket of the buttons, but if you want to just do running stitches around everything, just ordinary in and out. It was Teresa's live. Teresa did a live yesterday, yesterday morning. And it was lovely, lovely to see Teresa growing, growing her channel. She was on Beth's, wasn't she, on Tuesday night. We were together. I was there with my lagging behind. <laughs> they were very patient to put up with me on Tuesday. The recipes in, in Beth's group and Aunt Beck's Creations group for the five ingredient cake. Thank you, Cheryl. Mm. Mm. Tina, exactly. <laughs> um, yes, French knots. I am not going to tell you. It's a 20 minute video, I believe. Seriously, I, I will be trying out some, some of these ideas from Bootsy. I'm loving that. Oh, look at this dear little button. It's an oval button. How lovely. Ooh, most of these are vintage buttons. <laughs> oh. Yes, that's right. We all have our own unique stories to tell, don't we, um, Peter? That's so true. So true. Yes. Here we are. There. I'll sew this one on. I'll do some stitching in a minute as well. <laughs> so Freddie and I have already been out for a walk. And, yeah, the blossom, that, especially that white blossom. Uh, quite a lot of the time when I'm walking, I'm looking at my feet so I don't fall over. But I looked up. If, oh, you've got to stop. Take a breath and look up. And this white blossom was dotted all around, all around the park and the trees. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. The hippo video, yes, yes, the white blossom from the hippo video was all, yes, a, a pretty, pretty hockey. Oh, who said that? Someone in the comments. Uh, yeah, we're calling him a little hippopotamus. It's so sweet. Mm. Yes, that white blossom is all over. Teresa's going to be, yes, Teresa's hoping all being well to be in Beth's. Yes, yes. I won't, I won't come on because they were so patient with me. I, I It was so laggy for me. Good morning, Angela. Oh, how are you? So nice to see you, Angela. Really nice to see you. We're happy Monday. We're starting the week off as we mean to go on amongst friends. <laughs> I'm just doing some gentle slow stitching and I'm reading out the chat for our friends that are gently listening in the background. What can I do on this? Maybe. A little bit more stitching. Do some. Yes, yes. Um, his friend Molly. Yes, you're right. His friend Molly, who's a golden retriever, 
she would have had to have a hose down. Whereas our Freddie, yes, he, he seems to be quite easy. He just, I just towel him down and then, and then brush him later. <laughs> he loves the mud. I think if they come home in a mess, you know they've had a good time. <laughs> Ooh, apart from Dorinda was saying, in the States, oh, they can chase skunks. Now, that is something I wouldn't like to happen. Gosh, well, did you see what I was doing then? I just threaded some thread through. And made one of these little bits of where the, where the thread comes through and you cut it at the top so it's a little bit of detail. Good morning, Vanessa. Hi, come on in, come on in. You are just in time. <laughs> just in time to join us. We just... Gently sewing. <laughs> he had a mud party. Oh, I know. I know. The mud, actually, the mud has dried up quite a lot today. So we didn't get muddy at all, did we, Freddie? Oh. <laughs> he managed to wear himself out, though. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank you, Angela. Did you see that? Beth is mending our lovely Beth is mending a family it's like a family heirloom really isn't it she's mending a family quilt that she uses she snuggles on it the dog, dogs snuggle on it it's used I think that's lovely and her mother was mending it too so it's got so many connections for our Beth and now Beth is saying to us if we want to send a little scrap of fabric she's going to sew it on so we are going to become part of that community are going to become part of that quilt and I think that's wonderful so if you would like to send a little snippet to, of something to Beth's I think that would be lovely. And she sewed on my little um, doll as well onto her quilt, <laughs> which was lovely, I thought. Suze, hi, nice to see you. Come on in. So nice to see you. Oh, lovely. We're slow stitching again, Suze. Or if you want to make something. Go ahead and make something. I'm trying to get the little bird. If you want to make something, one of the things that we've made here, you could make something and, and our lovely Beth could pop it, sew it onto her family quilt. It's going to be her family and community quilt. Next week, I've already decided what I'm going to do next Monday. I'm going to make a nice cloth heart like an applique and I'm going to send that as well for Beth to put on her quilt <laughs> but if you want to send just a little piece of material I think that would be nice too so I've got a beading needle here and it's very long and very thin and it goes through the beads if you can pick up the beads, Ooh, they're very hard to, these are very fine, these beads, little seed beads. Oh, Peter, are you going to, good night, Peter, sleep well, sleep well. Have a good night's rest and so lovely that you popped in to see us, yes. I'm quiet for a minute. Can you hear Freddie breathing? Not snoring, but breathing nice and uh, he's breathing nice and quietly. Oh, good morning, Angie. 
Oh, so glad you can be here. Last Monday, you had such a busy day, didn't you? I do hope you are well. I haven't seen you in many chats uh, last week, but that might be me. Um, maybe I wasn't. We weren't on the same chats last week. Sometimes we see a lot of one another. I do hope you are well. So just, so the further out, the further out of the piece, the smaller the pieces are becoming. So there you, you can, I can, I can, oh, I can barely see it. I, I don't know what, where I've just sewn it. Oh, that's really interesting. I can't see it. Maybe I, Maybe it didn't attach itself properly. Let me try that again. <laughs> I'm chatting at the same time. <laughs> Good morning, Val. Nice to see you. Oh, there, we go. there he is, Val. Yeah, I did toy with the idea of close down so you could see what I was doing. And then I thought, really? Mm, no, it's more about just getting together, isn't it? What I'm doing is secondary. <laughs> you have been in chat, Janet, and you had a big day last Thursday. Yeah. You got to meet Erin. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, what fun to actually meet People in our community face to face. Oh, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing, Angie. You must have loved, loved that. Oh, yes. He's very, he's exhausted now. We've had a, we've had a good run around. We met Ben in the park, had a run around. Oh, no, that other little seed bead was there. It's just the same colour as the fabric. It, it adds texture. So, yeah, the small, wispy, there we are, on the edges. Well, that one will show up more for you. <laughs> oh. I don't expect your Bruno's been out yet. He'll go out later, won't he, Val? I'm sure. Oh, how lovely. What a what a big memorable day that was, Angie. Did you live nearby or did you meet halfway? Because the States is oh, it's a big country, isn't it? Of course I'm getting tangled up. Right, let's see if I can show you that small, the small little wispy seed going out. And I'm going to put some bigger beads in the middle. I've got some bigger beads here. Where's, is that Anne? Oh, and Alicia. Hi, Alicia. Oh, yes, I am your, oh, your fairy godmother. Oh. Yes, me too, Alicia. Yes, we watch the Chateau Diaries, don't we? And I know Jean Bailey, who's in the background, no need to type in, Jean. You, you love the Chateau Diaries too, don't you? Yes. And one of, the, one of the ladies on that vlog isn't very well at the moment, so we hope that she gets some rest. That's Stephanie. Yes, yes. Alicia, yes, I am your fairy godmother. <laughs> I'm here with some fairy dust today. <laughs> oh, now I just got myself a little distracted. Did I miss someone else coming in as well as um, Alicia? If I missed you coming in, would you mind saying hi again? because I don't like to miss you.
Carol's there listening in the background. Carol, you're listening and healing, aren't you? Yes. Lovely. <laughs> I'll be, don't even need to open your eyes. That's Carol Al, our Carol Whispering Cauldron, still there. And we've got our other Carol in the house, still there. Or maybe uh, Mo's, Mo's mummy Carol has drifted off to sleep as well. Sleep is a healer. That's what I always say. <laughs> oh. oh, he's been out already. Oh, he's a chihuahua. Oh, how lovely. Oh, probably doesn't need much exercise, but I bet he loves it. I bet he runs around and they love all the smells, don't they? Oh. Oh. Nice to see you, Alicia. Really nice. Welcome. Come on. In you come. In you come. We, we're just gently doing some sewing today. So you can see I'm adding the little beads as we go. Let's see how to stitches now. Read all the needles before we before we went live. <laughs> oh. Which is always very I think I'll just do an ordinary running stitch. Some of the buttons. I've, I've always wanted to try this. This one's like a chain stitch rounded. Just for a difference. Let me see. I've got some light blue vintage, lovely vintage embroidery silk there. I shall put that on. There, now, um, I'm trying to think now. I'll just do like a chain stitch just here. You don't, it, yeah, it doesn't, you don't really have to think about it. You just go for it. We love our little furry friends, don't we, Val? <laughs> oh, they really are. And let me just say hi to some people that maybe. In the background, we're, we're thinking of Sana is healing and getting better. And we're particularly thinking of our lovely Laura, the Jersey crafter, this week, who is having a, a procedure done. And we, I've been enjoying listening to lovely Laura. She's doing some jelly printing yesterday, and I, I loved that. She's been lovely. What do you think? Sending our love to you, lovely Laura. And our thoughts continue. Our thoughts continue to be with our lovely Joyce Boring too. Send love. Yes, I'm just like, like a half a stay, chain stitch flower. I think that's what I'm doing at the moment. There. And then I will have to try and oh, I lost some of my chat. Sorry. What am I like? Oh, look at that. There's Joyce coming. Hi, Joycey. Come on in. Come on in. So nice to see you. Oh, you're doing your morning routine. Yes. Oh. Thank you for letting me know, Candy. Oh, right. Okay. I would thank you. I obviously didn't pick that up. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you for letting me know because I was going to be really having her on my on my mind this week. It gives her more time. That's good. That's good. More time. To have fun and create <laughs> out in the spring sunshine. How lovely. Good, good, good. Thank you. Mm. Oh, Joyce, you love your birds. Oh, have I seen those, Joyce? 
I shall have to nip over to Joyce's. How lovely. There's Deborah. Yeah, what am I like? <laughs> Deborah likes it when I say that. Oh, Deborah, hi. Yes, this good morning. Nice to see you. I find myself just around this button in like a big chain stitch loop. No plan, just because it feels relaxing as I'm sitting chatting with everybody this morning. <laughs> it's like we're sitting in a coffee shop, just chatting together. Some of us are crafting at the same time. I'm loving that. Uh, well, Deborah, it was you, wasn't it? When on one of our prompts games that we did, you like that, don't you, Deborah? <laughs> Deborah did um on the prompt game. You you did your prompts on file folder, and I was I couldn't remember who'd done the yellow writing, and I saw it the other day when I was having a little scroll. And so I was I don't know whether you heard me last week I treated myself to a yellow Posca pen it looks so effective and obviously very spring-like very springy now is it too early for me to ask what is everybody else doing this week uh, what are you well what else on your desk today or this week Sending love as well to Deborah Brown. I'm presuming if Deborah Brown isn't in the chat, maybe it may mean that you're not feeling that well. I'm sending love to you that you're you haven't got your the problem with fevers that you you do have. We're all sitting together at Coffee Perk from Friends. Coffee Perk. Oh, yes, that's so true. Oh, yes, we are. We're sitting around. Say, if I was to go to a coffee shop, I would bring my crochet or something. I know. Busy hands. <laughs> we are all sitting around chatting. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> oh, and Angie's making cards. Oh, Deborah's painting in a composition notebook. Oh, how lovely. You do lovely paintings, Deborah. How lovely. Cheryl's getting coffee. She's laughing. Don't ask me what I'm doing now or later. I'm just waking up, says Cheryl. Oh, Kimberly is making oatmeal and walnut cookies for snack time. Oh, okay. I know. I'll. I won't have that early that they need to be out just in time, don't they? Fantastic. <laughs> oh, we have to have something yummy to nibble for snack time or healthy. You need to have it healthy. Oh, and Candy's making peanut butter cookies. Oh, lovely. Are you impressed I knew what PB meant? <laughs> In the running world, PB me personal best. <laughs> Candy's making her personal best peanut butter cookies. Yes. <laughs> oh, Anne, good morning. Have I said good morning to you yet, Anne? I can't remember. How miss of me. Good morning, Anne. <laughs> Sitting, eating your breakfast, brewing your cup of tea with your beautiful slow stitch tea cozy absolutely lovely uh, Laurie who doesn't love cookies <laughs> oh I did some baking yesterday so we had something ready for the stream and I took it I made chocolate beetroot brownies and um, I also Took some for Ben this morning when I when I met him for the walk. I took him some brownies as well. Ooh, I was just going to do like a little flower shape, and I find myself going round this button with like a little a little chain stitch. But if all you know how to do is a just in and out stitch, 
just do that. Oh dear, Barbara just sprayed her oven racks. When I when I read spray, I thought, oh, Barbara's already in the craft room, spray paints. No, sprayed it with oven cleaner. And you're treating the glass top of your oven. Don't be jealous, anyone. <laughs> the jet set life, <laughs> says Barbara. Oh, for goodness sake, Barbara. Mm. Spring cleaning. Yes, yes. Oh, dear. Oh, that's probably what I need to do. <laughs> Shelley, good morning. So nice to see you. We're just all um just saying, talking to each other, saying what we're what what our plans are this week. I loved it when Laura said, now I might you might have to help me out. I can't the word isn't in my head, but I'm going to start it anyway. She said, don't be goal orientated be oh i can't think what she said now but it was something a lot more gentle than setting a goal and that spoke to me but obviously not enough that i remember exactly what she said it's like i said a joke without a punchline <laughs> oh dear laurie says woohoo <laughs> to Bob's Bar leading, leading the high life. Oh yes, that's. It's good you have. Um, it's like you've got an automatically cleaning oven, Renee, because the hubby does it. <laughs> Oh dear, oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Candy. <laughs> oh. Gail Anne, good morning. Oh, there he is. There's the boy. <laughs> Looked out when I said that. Who is it? Is it? Oh, okay. You, you're the racks. Oh, clean, clean the racks. Yes, yes. Mm. Oh, nice to see you. Oh, Gaylan. I'm doing some slow stitching. You haven't missed much. We well, we've just been relaxing and starting the week together. So I'd say you're just on time, really. And that's how we're going to continue this stream. <laughs> Oh, ooh, yes, yeah, the window that you're meant to be able to see through. Oh, dear. <laughs> maybe I need to do some, oh, maybe I need to do some, um, mm. you so you must have needed it, Gerlan. Gerlan slept in, you must have needed it. Um, Good, I'm glad you're here now. Get yourself a coffee, and I hope it hasn't, You've got 101 things to do now. I hope it hasn't made too behind and too busy today. Lovely girl, Anne. Oh, there's our lovely Aunt Bex as well. Come on in, come on in. Have you got Scott to work yet? Is that why you're able to be here now? You've got him off to work safely. Coffee's brewing, says our lovely girl, Anne. I'm Aunt Bex, if you have time to look, it, um, I view, I've been using the lovely painted fabric that I did. I think we did, um, oh, I know Aunt Bex. I'm, if you go back to Aunt Bex's channel, she did fabric painting and I made... And you did prompts, didn't you? And I made this sheet. But these, oh, that's it. I rolled, my roll-off was on fabric too. So the green and the brown, it was just roll-off. You know, when you've got the brayer. Yeah, yeah. So yes, I've been using the snippets of fabric painting that I did with you, Aunt Bex. Oh, look, we've got oven cleaning tips in the chat. Get your oven cleaning tips here. You can either 
do a bit of slow stitching or go and clean the oven. The choice is yours. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, Gail. Okay, Gail's dad's calling. Okay, Gail, see you in a minute. We'll be here. We'll be here. We'll save you a seat. Save a seat. Save a seat for Gail. No one's sitting. That seat there. That one's Gail's. Mm. <laughs> Well, oh no, actually, seriously, these oven cleaning tips here, forget the buttons. Um, fold up, rolled up aluminium foil on the window. Oh, do you know, I someone was saying about cleaning the glass on the shower with rolled up aluminium foil. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes, Aunt Bex, you go and get breakfast and we'll see you later. Yes, yes. No, not Dad. It was the doctor's office calling to remind me for an appointment on Wednesday. Oh, OK. OK. I do hope all is well with you and actually your dad. I'll phone my dad when the stream finishes. Yes. Mm. Scrunched up in a ball, Candy, Candy says. Seriously, going to try that. Yes. I know, Galan. Aluminium foil. I, sh I should put that in the title of the video. Yeah. <laughs> Much more handy than knowing, um, rummaging through the vintage buttons. No, seriously. I don't think it does, gal. <laughs> Angie, you're... Your cards, are you? Yes, yes. Good, good. Barbara's going to research that. Fantastic. <laughs> Great. Get all your cleaning and button tips here. I'm loving that. So what else did I do this week with our buttons just before we have our snack time? Some of the buttons don't thread right through, do they? They've got the, the bit at the back. So I threaded them through paper clips and they will go in my journals or my glue book so you just have to make sure I did I think this was the Pam at the paper outpost when she makes sound like that oh okay Barbara says she's used the aluminium foil scrunkled up, scrunched up to clean a metal sink. Oh, wow. Gosh, that's really good. Not using harsh chemicals at all. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I know. Get all your get all your tips and tricks here. So yes, one of those buttons that's got the the hole in the back. These are lovely little vintage. And I'm just going to thread it through here. You've put actually, this is probably not anything new. It's probably something I've seen. Um, and I just thread threaded that through like that. And I'm just gonna make these these little bits round. Oof. Oh, thanks, Bob. I don't, don't think it's a new idea. I suddenly, as I was going through my little button tin, I'm thinking, ooh, I have got quite a lot of these. I did put some on here as well because I think it just adds different texture to have some of the buttons without holes in. I'll just bend these little these little bits round. Get my little clippers here. It was watching. Laura, the Jersey crafter, she went through a phase of doing beads. So I got myself a little set, not expensive. Oh, now, Tanya and Lisa, now, on Tanya's channel, she is going on an RV trip and she's going to 
go and meet Lisa and they're going to do some crafting together. But she set up a separate YouTube channel. Later on, when this is all processed, I will leave a link for that channel in the description box. It might be later on this evening. But I thought, oh, that's going to be fun. It could be someone we know and their RV adventure. She's put up one video on it. It's a separate channel from her arting one. One of her husband preparing the really quite large RV. Mm. Oh, Angela, thank you. Sometimes, you know, we just need to remind one another, don't we? Yes, it's not 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 a new idea, but we're just reminding one another. You don't have to do this curling up thing. Because I don't, it's making it curly like that. Because it wouldn't fall off anyway, but I just think it looks quite nice curly. Oh, Aunt Bex, thank you. Aunt Bex is in the middle of making breakfast, but has come in with Tanya's link. I presume that is the Tanya link, Tanya's travel channel. Thank you. Isn't that going to be fun? When you when you saw when you see that band, that little pang of you will think, oh, lovely. And if that was me, I'd be thinking, oh, what shall I pack? I think Tanya does bead making when she's. Angela, little something, doesn't it? To put the little curly cues on. Again, I, I think that's Pam the paper outpost. That wasn't me. Yeah, it doesn't come down anyway because it stops there. And then I'll just put some wool on the top. <laughs> some yarn. Ah, oh, Jenny, hi. Oh, really lucky to see you too. I know the camper van is as big as a bus. Jenny, you've just come in. Aunt Bex has put a link up above. It's to Tanya's, as in Tanya Maguire. She's got a travelling channel now. She's going in her RV. I think it's going to be very exciting. We're all going with her. <laughs> I think that's lovely. Yeah, I'm just going to do that, I think. Yes, yeah, so if you want to follow the link, and then click on the bell, so, I I'm, can't remember when she's quite leaving, but isn't, it, isn't that going to be fun? There we are. So, oh, I think I wanted that double. No, I think I wanted that double. Been doing some slow stitching again, Journey. I've made a lovely little flower pot <laughs> with with my buttons. I think I got them out last week, the button tins, didn't I? And that made me think, oh, I want to do more with the buttons. Now, Kimberly, are your cookies out of the oven yet? It's difficult for you to have snack time with me, isn't it? Because it's sort of only just breakfast time with you, isn't it? Oh, there, I've made it double. So, yeah, lovely. <laughs> lovely colours. I like those colours. Green and brown, they go nicely together. Good morning, Rebecca. Oh, you're up early today, Rebecca. And there it is. Let's see if we can. Just a little paper clip with um. What, have they got a a special name? The buttons that have got the men's shirt buttons used to be like that, didn't they? With the hook at the back, they might have a special name. Nice to see you, Rebecca. 
you're up and getting ready for your stream. Oh, now dad is on the phone. Okay, Gail. Yeah, yeah. Speak to dad. Yes, yes. Give him our love. Hmm. So, yeah. And you can also put those buttons on safety pins and bulb pins as well. I did have one knocking around here somewhere. Oh, yes. So, like a little homemade, a homemade, a homemade dangle. I've put three on there. I think that's too many. I don't think I can undo that one. So, I need to probably just put one on. <laughs> oh. So, yes, that is that is what I have been up to. So I'm going to put these things aside. Oh, and I did, oh, did I show you that one? I can't remember. <laughs> There's that one too with some sari silk tied on. They just add a, diff, a little depth to your, to your page if you pop, pop one on. There we are. And I've got another one to do later. I'm going to just pop everything away and we'll get ready to have snack time. Where should I put this for safekeeping? And I can, now I'll put this back in my slow stitch kit later and I'll wrap some more yarn around it. I shall put that somewhere safe. I'll just, I'm going to put it just there, <laughs> just like that. So it is snack time. I don't want, this is um, a beautiful vintage map. I'm going to put it away now. It's got natural United States and it comes from, oh, what are those yellow magazines? Oh, National Geographic. They used to give away free maps and I love the text. Because it's got the text in beautiful print all around the side. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I've got Nebraska. Isn't Nebraska? Isn't that where Mary lives? Maybe that's where Fibsville is in Nebraska as well. South Dakota. North Dakota, Lake Michigan. We, oh, there we are. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that away so I don't get anything on it. That was just to display the slow stitching. It's vintage. Let's see if we can find a date on it. Probably from the 1950s. Can't see a date, but then maybe I should put some. You're easy to find that on the map and at the bottom end of Lake Michigan. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, hold on. There we are. You're at the bottom here of Lake Michigan. Oh, okay. that's amazing. How wonderful. And the states are all round with different colours. I love it. And there's the writing at the top. Hmm. Oh, and Barbara. Oh, you're, oh yes, Canada. You're at the top of Lake Michigan, of course. It's Canada here. Oh, look at that. You're over here, probably. It's amazing. Oh, there you all are. <laughs> Freddie looks exhausting normally by this time. I know, Rebecca, you have been out and running and playing ball. We met Ben. He's been out already. No mud, though, today. Normally, he's a bit perkier than this. You're about 50 miles due west of Lake Michigan. Violets! There's Violet, 50 miles. 50 miles isn't that far, is it? Especially on your wonderful ways. Wow. 
Hey, oh, Violet, that's amazing. See where you are. <laughs> oh, let's get snack time, shall we? He usually sits up and licks his lips at this stage, doesn't he? Oh, oh Angela says, you're close close there. You're in Illinois. Oh, fantastic. Oh, he had a mud party the other day, Gerald. He did, he did. Good morning, Violet. By the way, 50 miles south of Dakota. <laughs> I'm loving that. Oh, who's been eating this brownie? It's not the right size. Who's been eating that? I think that was me. <laughs> oh, you're by the bottom of Lake Horan. Oh, I'm going to write that down. Pop the map away now, but let me just write that down. Gail. Lake Horan. The lakes are beautiful. Yes, Kimberly. Are your cookies ready, Kimberly? Kimberly, they're hot out. Yours are hot out of the oven. You go, come on, fanning them quickly. <laughs> you grew up just south of SHI town. I'm not quite sure how to say that. Probably not far from you, too. Ah, okay. Ah, yes, snack time. Yes, get your hot beverages out, everybody. I'm going to put this coffee away. I can warm it up later, but it, it's it's just gone all. It's yeah. <laughs> Should we give Freddie his snack? He's licking his lips now. Snack, please. Yes. Freddie says, snack, please. What a lovely way to start the week, isn't it? Is it a lovely way to start the week, Freddie? Freddie agrees. He loves being with all of me. Oh, this is from Cheryl. Do you want that one? Yeah? Come on, then. You want to take it? Yeah. He doesn't trust us. Oh, oh, darling. Oh dear. Alright. Oh dear. He's exhausted, isn't he? <laughs> oh dear. I don't know. He'll be back. <laughs> oh, nice hot beverage. Hmm. There we are. Oh, yeah. And I've got my chocolate, chocolate beetroot brownie. Very nice. I sliced it off and then I kept eating it because it's just too hard to resist. Mmm, 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 mmm. Very nice. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, Route 66. Now I have heard of that. <laughs> Obviously, because it's a song. If Barbara wasn't too busy cleaning her oven, she would be singing Route 66 now. Oh, you're 60 miles south of Lake Erie. Don't you know I've heard of Lake Erie? You're near Tina. You, I'm writing that down. You live, um, you live near national parks, don't you? Oh, gosh. It's not really polite to eat in front of you like this, but we are in a coffee shop, aren't we? Mm, mm, mm. So hard to resist, though. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, is that, is that for his joints, Gail? Is that for his joints? Yeah. Because bigger dogs do have problems with their joints and their back legs, don't they? Angela says she grew up in the little town of Morris. Anybody else heard of that? You're five miles from Route 66. Mm. Ohio. 
Mm, it's for joints, yeah. I was very conscious of that when he was growing up, when he was tiny. I only used to take him, I said five minutes every week or month. I, I used, didn't used to take him out and exercise him too much while his joints were growing. Come on, though. That's true. You do have to look up. That's why I give him that snack because it's fresh salmon. Come on, in you come. Salmon, that's it, darling. He has salmon and fish. Come up here, darling. He's, he's after that chocolate. Now, dogs aren't allowed chocolate. Why are they so mad and want to try and get it? Eh? Go on, you sit up, darling. That's it. Uh, you sit up. Oh, cook, do, well, you, yes, I saw Kimberly in the chat. It's gone. I saw that you'd got your cookies. How lovely. Bacon and scrambled eggs and black coffee for you. That's it. You sit up there now, darling. That's it. Good boy. There you go. All right. That's it, my lovely. <laughs> oh. Yeah, many parks. Oh, how lovely. How lovely. Mm. Oh, let me just show you. I've got the daffodils here from last week. But this morning, I, I by accident... I pulled out the clematis. Aunt Bex had a clematis the other day. Mm. And I was I just, I think, why did I go to the door? Maybe the postman. And there was this yellow leaf. I thought, oh, I'll just pull that yellow leaf off, doing a quick bit of gardening. And I pulled the flower off. It's still got some roots. So I'm going to do something with it later. But I just popped it in there and I thought, you might like to see that lovely flower for inspiration. The other thing I have to show you is, for Mother's Day, I got some wonderful washi tape from Ben. And he said, you'll be able to use, use this cream. Because he knows what I'm like. He knows what we're like. Mm. Well, Violet says, my hometown is on the Kankaki River. And has a yearly event called Catfish Days. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, Gail, the flowers, the crocus growing in the middle of the puddle. Yes. And those really spoke to me. They really did. Because, you know, in they were growing in adversity. They bloomed and they've gone now. But... The, yeah, they really spoke to me. Mm. Oh, or tonight as well. It was leftovers. I'm going to make some um, pasta sauce, tomato sauce. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Onions and grapes as well no, are a no no for dogs. I didn't know about onions, but I don't eat onions. But the grapes is a funny one, isn't it? Mm, and raisins, yeah, yeah. You have to be so careful, don't you? I'm giving our prompt cards a little shuffle. Should we play a little prompt game? If you want to, and some people have been making ATPs or a journal page, write the prompts down for later. This is the way that I've been shuffling. I kept some aside in the drawer underneath, so we're not having the same as last week. Oh, your town's built with having parks. Yes, we have. We have quite a lot of parks as well, Candy. I always feel we live in a big town, a big city. But we're so lucky, yes. Oh, you took us on a trail, didn't you? You did a wonderful video, I remember. We saw your mate, your the bird. What was the bird we saw, Aunt Bex, when you took us on the trail? It, it was a Carolina something, wasn't it? Hmm.
you're remi Angela's reminding Violet of, of somewhere she went years ago. Oh, a flea market. Oh, wow. That sounds fun. You really get some good things there. Mm, I'm, I'm shuffling. I won't be able to get um, a job at a casino, will I? I'm not really that good at shuffling. A Carolina Wren. Yes, is your state bird. And, and it, it had a beautiful song, didn't it? Now, I'm going to close my eyes. And you can see, I'm going to, one. There might be, there's some, there's only last week's I put out. I, I picked seven. <laughs> Gosh, that, yeah, the lakes are gorgeous. Sat, ben went to Canada and, oh, he didn't want to leave the lakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When you've had enough of playing prompt games starting the week, we can go on to something else. But I, I just thought we will, we can do this for a while. We can do this for a few more weeks, maybe. So, yes, create on whatever surface you want to create on. Today, I'm going to go really mix media. Oh, you've got your cat food divider. Aunt Bex is going to play along. Mm. Oh, well done. And we can... Oh. I wonder whether this is the week where I don't get in a muddle on that. <laughs> oh dear. Will you help me, Mo? Mo's going to help me. Right. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm going to do mine on fabric. I'm going to make two fabric tags. So this is really going to be mixed media because I am going to put um I'm going to put paper so I'm going to mix the paper and the material so I've got two tags here well this one isn't as big but that's fine so so if we've got paint that means I'm going to use or color that means I'm going to use the fabric paints to see me using that so shall we start let's start are you ready Oh, Kimberly, wow, fantastic. No pressure, though. Just sit back and relax if you don't want to play. Ooh, one thing I was going to do is put my apron on. Because seriously, are you like that? Everything we own gets paint on it, doesn't it? Everything, everything we own. Hmm. There is a town called Waynesville, Ohio, that has a sauerkraut festival every year. Your parents used to go, oh, wow, sauerkraut festival. That sounds amazing. Oh, hi. Hi, Colleen. We're just going to start. You're really getting messy. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. You were getting messy the other day, weren't you? Or is it Friday with your experimenting with your paper? I know. I know, Colin. Seriously. I don't usually mind, but there may come a time where, you know, I need to go out somewhere. And I need to have something that doesn't have paint on it. Ah. Oh, Gal's been to Waynesville. Mm. Sam makes sauerkraut. Oh, okay. So. The first prompt is orange. There we are, orange. So we need a little bit of red and yellow. So I'm going to see if I've got some red. I do hope I've got some red paint left. So do you use whatever surface you want. I'm going to be working on the fabric. I'm going to make some fabric tags. 
mixing it this is a reminder for me to mix pepper and fabric together Ooh, i have let's see if we can mix a little bit of so here's the fabric paint so so first prompt is orange so i need a little bit of if i get it out Hold on, let me just. Oh, that's a lot of red. Okay, right. What I'm going to do is pop some of this up here for later because I don't want to deal with that now. Oh, no, it's not going to go up there. Oh, well, I know I'm in a mess now. I'm in a complete mess. Right, that's fine. So, as my. No, I'm trying to be just knit, but no. I'm going to use this piece of material just to wipe off the paint there. So, yeah, today I'm doing everything on material. So, I'm going to add some yellow to this, and, and then two part paint to one part of this fabric medium. If you've got fabric paints, go ahead and use your fabric paints if you want to, if you're working on fabric. I'll mix that round. First prompt, and already a mess, perfect. I know, first prompt. I know. What am I like? Oh, Deborah, what am I like? <laughs> oh, lovely orange. Lovely orange. I'm not going to waste any of this. It's all going to go on the material. You'll see. Mmm, a lovely orange. Ooh, I'm loving that. That's my orange into this. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Mm. Oh, a covered bridge festival. Oh, I've seen the pictures of the covered bridges in my Ohio magazine that my friend Cheryl sends me. Cheryl um, B. So this is literally, I'm just going to. There we are. This is the fabric paint, so I can just. Put this on fabric. Maybe this will be nice at Christmas, this red. I don't tend to use red at other times. So part of my time is used up by, well, I'm not timing myself really, but used up by using up the paint. I haven't even, look, I haven't even worked on the tags yet. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously? Really? <laughs> oh, dear. There. Ooh, loving that. Of course, that's got some... Oh, yeah. I Oh, I really am getting in a wonderful mess. Lovely. Probably the more you try not to get in a mess. But right, this is just a drop cloth, basically. And it's lovely, the, because I've got the fabric medium on it, the fabric will be beautiful and flexible. And we can do a project with these. This would make lovely unsetty as this fabric when it comes to lovely, loving that. That envelope there, like that. Mm. There. Mm. Lovely. That on that envelope. We're not wasting any paint. <laughs> there. So that's the drop cloth. Mm. I'll pop that down there. We might, we might have some orange left in a minute. Now, to the tags. To the tags. 
progress I'm making today. How do I want to apply this orange? How indeed? I think just having a nice orange print would be nice all over it. I tell you what I'm going to use. It's a smiley face. I'm going to use some coffee. Oh, you fell asleep. Well, that's fine to fall asleep. Absolutely fine. It's a very yellowy orange, but never mind. We've got a background, and I'm loving that. And we can always finish these off how add your own prompts. And we're not sending the prompt police round. Don't worry. You can do your own thing as well. Please do. Please do. I'm going to use this up. Oh, there's our Japanese friend. Good morning. Konnichiwa. Well, we're, we're here making a mess. Getting some texture on some envelopes. Loving that. That's my Tuesday thing, making envelopes. <laughs> Do you know, Angie, you relax. I think that's lovely. When you're with friends, and you pop us on, you relax down. And I think that is amazing. Oh, your name. Hello, Janet. Sad. It's, oh, it's sweets time over. We had our snack time. We did. Yes, we did. It, the time difference is a little. Ah, oh. Pikuo. Hello. Pikio. Pikio. Am I pronouncing that? Time is over. What did we have today? We had, we had brownies. Mm -hmm. We had we had chocolate brownie today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Nothing's nothing's wasted. Nothing's wasted. Let's put some. Nothing will be wasted. Let's put an envelope over there. <laughs> so I don't get. Oh, cookies. Ah, oh, Piccio is your nickname. Ah, oh, Piccio, nice to see. That's nice to know your nickname. See, look, I don't like to waste any paint. Now I've got in a complete mess. Good job I've got my apron on, isn't it? Right, that is orange. Oh, now this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. Now I need to add a magazine paper to this. Mm, interesting. So, magazine paper. You can get a magazine or not if you don't want to. Just get, just get anything. Pick up a magazine. And go to page 14. This is the challenge. Oh, I tell you what, this is a challenge. This one doesn't have the page 14. Or, or the nearest page to page 14. But my, my magazine's so well loved. No, right, hold on. Find a magazine. Oh, here we are. Sorry, Holmes, our favourite memory. 14 or nearest to. And try and find something that's a little challenge on that page to use up. It's a challenge when there's adverts finding. So this is my little experiment of really, really mixing up. I'm going to have to work backwards. Mixing up fabrics and papers. So there's 27, 
23, 22. They don't have numbers on the adverts. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. That's quite a challenge. If you don't want to do that or you haven't got a magazine, don't, don't worry. You use what you want or you can. So this is page 14. I've got lots of letters. I've got a little man watering a tree. He's quite cute. He's quite cute. I think I might get that watering can. Let's get some scissors. You're in, Cheryl's in lurk mode. That's absolutely fine. Oh, Jenny, I know. Do you know, it would be nice, maybe, no pressure, if a few of us were to send Beth a little something to put on her slow stitch. Or I was saying earlier, Jenny, a piece of material or a little piece of applique that we've made, a little piece of slow stitching. So I've got a little watering can like that. I like that. I could do with blotting paper actually. I have a blotting paper in the days of ink pens. There you go. I can add these, I can add these later. That won't take long to dry. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. One could almost say it's going through an ugly face already. And I'm going to look at the writing. Ew. Oh, I like the word garden. I've got words. Let's get power. <laughs> We're on um We've started our prompt game, if you would like to join in. we first one is orange, and the second prompt is magazine. I'm doing both sides of my tags here. S excuse me while I just read this advert. Mm. And um, there we are. Country house homes. Hmm. Well, I've got two things from there. That was an interesting, that was an interesting exercise. Let me know. Is any, if anyone else is using a magazine, did they get a more interesting picture than I did? I need to make that number a bit higher actually because they're normally orange I know Suze I put that prompt in for you <laughs> I knew you'd like that oh and I've got lovely words oh lovely take care oh that's lovely that's lo those are lovely words and what a challenge this is to add in the Fabric and the, I've put postage stamps on fabric work before, but never gone that far. Becky, have you got the managed to get the family off to um, work? Let me see if there's anything else on the other side. Hmm, not really. Okay, I will call that a day. I've got some bits and I will add those in a minute. <laughs> Let's get another prompt, shall we? I'm doing okay. I'm writing them down this time. What's this one? Butterfly. Oh, that's lovely. Butterfly. Okay, so I am going to use some of my fabric that I already painted. Oh, butterfly. Oh, how lovely. These were just randomly picked, so that's really nice. 
really nice. Let's see if I can make a butterfly. How lovely. I have got a butterfly stamp as well. I could put the butterfly stamp on. I think it's in here because I'm using it for envelopes. That's postage stamps. I want ink stamp. Might be in here. There we go. Oh, yes. Could do that, but I'm going to try and make a cloth butterfly as well. Oh, good morning, Aaron. I hear. Oh, I hear that. Oh. Rebecca, saying good morning to Beth. Did I see you coming in, Beth? Was I looking at my prompts? Is that Beth coming into the room? And Erin, how lovely. I'm going to put some butterfly. That's the bookmark's going to come down. The tag's going to come down like that. This is stays on ink, so it won't. The colour won't shift if I put something else on it. Not that we're going to wash this cloth either. Nice to see you, Erin. Ah, there, there you are, Erin. I see you there. Ah, oh, lovely. My chat lags a bit, but let's see if I can get the scissors and make a cloth butterfly as well so I'm gonna make it like this how are you in the chat Beth um I can't see you coming up there but our uh, people said hello to you if you if you've just come in and you Need the prompts. We're only on prompt three. How lovely. Oh, I made a little butterfly. I'm just going to make his. Well, that'll go quite nicely with our gardening words. We'll definitely put that, that magazine one, make it a different number, or we'll put that one for another week. Oh, made a little cloth butterfly ready to ready to sew on there. How lovely. We'll give them some antennae. I'll probably later on do a little bit of slow stitching on there too. Yeah, it's just a start. It's just a just a starting point. There you go. I will slow stitch him on later. There's our Beth. Lovely. <laughs> We've been talking about you. Beth, your ears burning. We're only on prompt three if you want to catch up. Of course, I've been quite slow and really messy, Beth. I just literally, the old ass exploded with paint. <laughs> You're going to do it on HCTs. Fantastic, no pressure though. Yeah, fantastic. It, the felt is orange. The second prompt is not wasting any of these bits. Magazine page 14. And number three is butterfly. So I'm going to pop that there. Now the next one is oh. Magazine page 55. Oh no, more magazine pages 55. Right, magazine. If you haven't got a magazine or you've used that page, don't you worry. You just use whatever image you've got. Use one of your fussy cuts if you like. Oh, tell Chris hello and to drive safe. Oh, <laughs> tell Chris hello and to drive safe. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Aunt Bex. Oh, 
So, page 55 of your magazine. Let's see if we get some, not an advert this time. If you get an advert, it's... Fifty-five. Oh, this is lovely. I love it. I love this. I love page fifty-five. Really pleased with this one. Look how bright and orange this page is. Ah, I want to use it all. I want to use it all. How lovely. Oh, it's delightful. Absolutely delightful. I'm just going to cut these little bits out here. Oh, how lovely. So that was prompt four. Oh, gosh, I love it all. I love it. <laughs> so bright. I'm not going to throw this away. Now I'm going to put that there. It's going to be a little bit whimsical, probably. I know, Suze. I know. Oh, and this one has got a gorgeous little house. Keeping some of that yellow in. Have you noticed in the prompts I have put yellows and oranges because I don't know, they remind me of spring. An adorable little house on that one. How lovely. I may be stitching these magazine pieces on, or I could use Fabri-Tac or glue. And it's just a little, I literally don't know whether it will work or not. And there's, there's a little flower, and from the last, from the first one. And there's the butterfly. This one's got a little house. And I'm gonna put this little bird. I love about ATCs. Oh. Received her first ever ATC. And they're just so tiny. Actually, these tags. And tags, they're just little, little pieces of tiny little pieces of our own arts and craft. <laughs> oh, I love that. So, there we are. I will find a way of attaching these to the tag. I'm going to save those because I love those, absolutely love them. Mm, I'm working hard. Let's have another little sip of cinnamon tea. Mm. Mm. Oh, how delicious. Mm. Oh, we've had this one before. Because this was the first week I put it back in, staple something on. So we have had that before, haven't we? So if you haven't got a stapler, don't worry. So I'm going to staple on the tag for the top. And I'm going to get my trusty bag of dyed fabric here. This was just my roll off. I've got some lovely lemon and green there. So I'm going to come down here. It's just an old pillowcase. Oh, yeah, you're moving your craft table to the bed. That sounds an excellent idea. Yes, you're right, Angie, because you do work hard. Yes, rest when you can. There's a tab at the top. We're going to staple our tab on. That's what I'm going to staple on. Or you can staple whatever you like on yours. So here's my little pictures. They're going, the paint's sort of dried now, but I'm leaving mine because I might not stitch them on. That adds a different texture, doesn't it? Thank you, Aunt Bex. 
it just makes you do things that you wouldn't normally do when you do this. Because I seriously wouldn't, I, I'm not a great one for using my stapler. Right, this goes like this. This is my tag. And here's the tag topper. I wonder if it'll go through there because it's quite thick. I'm going to actually put this one as a tab on the side. You wait, we'll get put a tab on in a minute because that is quite thick. There we are. There, my staples, are, it's a little green color, so that's nice. You'll have to count the pages for 55. There are many page numbers missing. I know. Or just or just pick a page, Cheryl. Just go like that <laughs> if you don't want to. Don't don't we don't want to stress, as our lovely Mary says. No way. That wasn't shuffled properly. That was add a tab. No, I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna pad off. I'm cheating now. No, I'm picking another card. Sorry, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Make a tuck spot. That the other one was out of tab, and we we had that one really recently. I haven't put it away. Add a tuck spot. I like that one. Number five. Add a tuck spot. That's nice. So if you're working in card, a bit like we did the envelope. I love it when you can have little bits and pieces. Yes. Oh, lovely. This is coming together nicely. Let's get let's get another colour. Some green. Oh, green here. And we're going to make a top spot. Oh, I love that. And then we can put another little tag or a mini ATC. I know, I'm cheating. Are you cheating, Cheryl, too? We can, we can. Oh, I thought we had that added tab the other week. No, let's ring the changes. Does it do? This is going to be fun. I will round the corners off and make a tuck spot. How lovely. And we can tuck a little, another little tag and we'll make another little mini tag. What fun. Oh, yes, add a tuck spot number five. Like that. Ooh, look at that. There you go. That's going to go on there. So I'm going to pin that because I am going to sew that later. I'm, am I cheating a bit there, Cheryl? <laughs> hmm. I do like pockets and flips. Oh, I don't think I've got make a flip as a thank you, Aunt Bex, dear. That's it. There's quite a lot of fabric to get through. There, there you go. Ooh, lovely. Oh, the things that are made of paper might go on a piece of paper and the paper gets tucked inside for me. Interesting. I will, when they've done, I'll pop a picture up in Beth's group so you can see them. Saving all my little bits and pieces for now. Ah, oh, there we are. I'm just going to press down, do some finger pressing. Yeah, number five could be staple on. Staple on the top spot. Yes. <laughs> well done. Well done. And then, of course, adding everything that you want to add later. 
But of course, I would love to think that I have time to be with you for longer and show you the end result today, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. But let's, oh, we've got a butterfly. We've got some watering going on. A little bird there. Oh, that's so lovely. A little cottage. A little mismatch. Oh, watering the flowers. How lovely. Oh, we've got this chat's really big, isn't it? Let's pop in there. And these might be in the tuck spot. Going to make mini tags to go in the tuck spot. Loving that so far. Ah, the last one. What's it going to be? Is it going to be something we've had already? I did shuffle them. Ooh. Something vintage or a vintage look. Oh, lovely. Something vintage or a vintage look. Is that number? Oh, see, you're already on wrong, Aunt Bex. Don't worry, I will I will get them in a minute. So um something vintage or vintage look, if you haven't got anything. Oh, how lovely. So that means I can get my slow stitch kit out and find something to wow, absolutely wonderful. Oh, staple something. Did I miss staple? Thank you. Staple. You can tell I'm not really used to doing this, am I? <laughs> Thank you very much for your help. <laughs> oh, if you just come in, are you catching up? I've got garden there, and I, I want to use the words as well. So I want to try and use paper. But now I'm going for cloth. <laughs> I'm going for something vintagey looking. There we are. Or could I use these buttons? Hmm. I've got some nice vintage cloth here. Oh, something that I absolutely adore is Rick Rack. Oh. That's going to be a joy to sew on there. Sorry, I'm not finishing them with you because I'm um, doing them later, aren't I? Oh, look, I'll pin that on. i just like to do something different there. There we are, pin that on. The pins aren't very sharp. I'll pin that on there. Oh, it was just that pin wasn't very sharp. Oh, I'm loving that. And the butterfly can come over there. Let me just show you. Let me lift it up. <laughs> that I'd be able to do some sewing of it with you, but we're running out of time. So I've got, it's a tag, I've got something vintage, I've got some paper going on there, little cloth butterfly, that's going to have a lot of beads and things on it. <laughs> Aaron says Rick Rack should be a middle name or Pom Pom. Oh, I know, Pom Poms. Oh. It, it's so 70s as well, and we used to have it round our skirts, a little bit of rick rack as well. <laughs> oh, oh, um, our lovely um, Gail didn't get back, did she? She was talking to her dad. Do you hope everything's well, Gail? Oh, thank you, thank you. It'll be a mixture. I will definitely use all these things. And I'm going to find something vintage to go on here. I've got garden and some paper going on there. Let's find something vintage for this page. This my my slow stitch kit is very handy here. Oh look! 
I love these flowers. I've been using these flowers individually on my work. So I'm going to put some of those on and I need some color. I need some more yellow. I'm loving yellow in my life at the moment. I'm loving having yellow. Something vintage. That's not vintage. Ooh, look at this material. It's vintage. I'm loving that. So that's going to go on there. Yes. <laughs> Galan. You've been there, Galan. Yeah. Oh, good, good. I just, just wondered, yeah, yeah, whether everything was all right with your dad. Oh, I tell you, you never came back. And that was our lovely Freddie. I will get him when it comes time to say goodbye. It's probably time to throw some numbers in. Well, let, let's have a little draw. I've got some happy mail to send. I'll send one of these little tags, just something, just a small little token of my appreciation for you all. Um, for you all, just generally, for being you. <laughs> I've been meeting you in all the chats and everything. <laughs> oh, Angie, we'll have to call, that would be Erin's nickname now. Freddie, are you coming back, dear? Pop a number in, everybody. That's it. Aunt Bet started off wonderful. Come on, darling, let me clear the floor so you can get up. Come on, darling, the girls want to come and say goodbye to you. Pop a number in and I'll get my phone. Where's my phone? It just goes so quickly. Can you sit up there, darling? Too quickly. I can't believe it. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you for being with me while I've enjoyed it while I get completely covered in paint and for my crazy challenge of doing do my task of doing do my task. <laughs> oh numbers coming in Melissa hi Melissa oh you're gonna do some of your glue book today Melissa Hmm. Oh, yes. If we were to call um, Aaron Rick Rat, we could call you um, Yo Yo, couldn't we, Angie? Because <laughs> you make yo yo's. <laughs> I'm hoping to for sale to get some of your yo yo's. I missed them last time. Hmm. Oh, 35 fees for Teresa. Oh, oh, our lovely Teresa, where are you today? Bless you. Yeah, we loved the stream, didn't we? We loved the stream today and Tina's stream. So lovely. <laughs> right, I'm going to go to random.org. Is that it? Is everybody there? You're going for a walk. Yeah, Aunt Bex. Yeah, too much sitting. Yes, yes. Well, Scott's on his feet. He needs to sit down. Yes, definitely. So at the weekend, he, he wants to sit, doesn't he? Yeah, I can imagine. Well, if it's a nice spring day, wrap up and, um, yeah. Right, a number, generate a number between one and a hundred, and it has to be on or under the nearest. I'm going to generate that. Generate it and it comes up as 45. Can you see that? 45. Who was on or nearest to 45? If you could help me. Ah, oh, Violet put one in for. In for Mary. Oh, our lovely Mary. Thank you. Oh, now you're saying that I have a list of things to read out in a minute. Let's find out who was on or nearest to 45, and I'll write that down. And then I've got a whole list of things I've written down. Violet saying Mary reminded me. Oh, Sue. Sue has 42. Oh, how 
funny. Suze, I did the orange for you. Oh, that's amazing. Send you this one with the orange back. Can I just generate another number? Because I was already going to send one of these to Suze because she loves orange. So, yeah, and let's um, generate another number. 27. Who was on 27 or just with the same numbers? Was there anyone on 27 or under? I'll send one. Yes, Suze. Orange, coming your way. <laughs> ah, using the same numbers, if, if anybody could help me. Um, I've got the numbers in up the top in the chat. Who was nearest to um, 27? I've just picked another number out there. Aunt Bex, Joyce, Joycey. Joyce had 26. So I'm going to send one to Joyce as well. That's lovely. Well done, Joyce. <laughs> Brilliant. I don't know. I think you won. I don't know whether you've received the last one. Sometimes the post is bad. Oh, and Melissa. Melissa, you had 27, did you? Oh, I tell you what, Melissa. I'm going to send you some happy mail too. Mm. Oh, yes. I'm going to send some horsey, horsey happy mail. Brilliant, Joyce. I'm going to send Joyce a tag. Great. Oh, brilliant. That's my happy mail sorted. You see, and I've already been making the envelopes. Brilliant. So, Sue's, Joyce, and Melissa. Well, fantastic. <laughs> right. Before I say goodbye, on Rebecca, we're going to Rebecca's after this. We're going to hop on the bus and go to. Um, Hi, Dave. Hi. All the way across the sea. <laughs> We're going to hop on to Rebecca's after this. And then it's Lizzie with her slow stitching later. Ah, oh, Angie. Yes. <laughs> Have a good day. Oh, and Lizzie tonight. And there's a Sunday, on Saturday, there's a, a merry video hop and then I think there's a Sunday evening hop next Sunday evening there's a hop and in all the wonderful wonderful streams and chats everybody oh <laughs> lovely lovely to see you you've got a busy afternoon plan Gail Oh, thank you. Thank you for being here. Yes, see you at Lizzie's because I've still got that extra hour. So I will see you. Oh, thank you. Thank you all for coming and stopping by and spending your Monday with Freddie. Freddie, say goodbye to the girls. The girls and guys. The ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> say goodbye, Freddie, and goodbye to the replayers, and thank you, replayers, and for everybody in the background too that's been gently listening to you all. Thank you so much. Oh, goodbye. Have a good week and have a safe week and be well. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Mm -hmm.